Welcome to a German lock that I want to pick for lock picking Pete. It's a Dom Dimple lock that I got from No Trick Pony lock picking quite a while back. And it came in a box with a, a lot of different locks. And every lock got a, a note. And that's lock number four. And he wrote, Ooh, just pick it, boring, I know. No key, have a pony instead. Um, it's not boring, at least not for me. It's pretty challenging, and I tell you why. Um, it's the key way. So um, that's the best flag that I have to to pick this lock, uh, and I think it's too too short or too small. Um, when I pick it and I pick the pins, it tends to slip up, and then I'm losing all the pressure. And you need a you need some pressure on the on the pins to to set them and it's hard to, to reach in this uh, channel here. And uh, because of this I will also use a DeForest or a hybrid from Sparrows and a, a deeper one from uh, Peterson. Alright, no key. Um, as the note says, so I use a tension on the left side and turn it clockwise so that I can pick it from the right side uh, in the counterclockwise direction, opposite to my tensioning direction. This makes it easier to set the spools. Alright, let's start. One and four and five, but I don't know if I could set them deep enough. So as I said, the, the pick slips up and I'm losing the pressure on the pins. So I'm changing picks now to the hybrid from Sparrows. I'm just poking around here. Ah, one came back. I've already picked the other side of this lock. Oops, core turned a little bit and uh, got it the other side so we can look at the pins uh, just after the lock um, is open. Okay. Oh, plug turned a little bit more. So I will frequently change picks. It was a hmm, bit of counter rotation here. No real uh, progress now. I use this deeper pick now from Peterson. Okay, there was a bit of counter rotation. Maybe I got it. But usually this lock shows a much deeper false set. So I'm here at, I think that was three. I could set the spool. But um, I have to use a more shallow pick because I'm oversetting with this deforest from Peterson. So I'm here to, to set the back pins, hopefully. Getting some feedback here from, from the last pin, I believe, from five. So maybe I have to use the flag again. But here I'm getting no, no feedback. Now I think the, the plug has turned a little bit more, just a tiny bit. Ah, I think we have, we've got an overset here, so I release tension a little bit. And just brush over the pins. See if they wanna come back to the shear line. No, here is something in the bag. I think I got it. Was a nice click, and it's open after some brushing. All right, that was a fun pick. <laughs> and uh, now let's look at the at the pins. So as I said, already um, got it, and here we have the 
pins of this lock. Yeah, you can see, pretty cool pins. Um, I think it's remarkable that these uh, tr um, key pins have uh, very sharp uh, tips. And, th and I think that's because usually on dimple locks you have uh, smaller diameter pins and these appear to be of regular size. So uh, to compensate this for the uh, uh, dimples in the, in the key, you have to have um, sharper tips and that's, it looks pretty funny. Um, all standard key pins beside of number 5, which is a torpedo, and looks like an overset trap, maybe a um, bump, anti-bump um, uh, pin or so. And for the drivers we have one uh, T-pin. I don't know if you can see that, but the ends are slightly uh, tapered. Oh, doesn't work. So let's see slightly tapered, you can see it now. Um, then we have a uh, spool with um, T-pin ends, another one of uh, these T-pin type spools, and we have a master wafer, which is pretty funny because that's, that's a spool. So when we look at the side, it's hard to grab, if you look at the side, you can see that this is a very, very tiny spool. Pretty cool. Um, then we have another uh, tapered pin or T-pin and another one. So that's, that gives this um, interesting feedback where you have to brush over the pins and the, the, uh, the plug uh, slightly turns more and more into the open direction until you feel the full set from the uh, two uh, drivers and then well, hopefully at some point uh, you will get the lock open. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I want to quickly... I ah, know I have to, to show you the plug, sorry. Um, plug is um, nothing special. You can see from the diameter of the chambers, uh, all regular size. Um, grill protection here and we've got some uh, passive pins for key control. I want to quickly reassemble the lock to see the effectiveness of the pins. We've seen from picking that one is, of course, oops, sorry, that one is, of course, effective. Two is effective. Very nice. Three is even shorter with the uh, master. Uh, pin, master wafer, then we have got four, it's also effective, and five, the torpedo, is also effective. Yeah, pretty cool uh, lock, um, not very hard to pick when you can access the pins, but with this um, nasty keyway, it's a pretty tough pick, at least for me. Um, yeah, so that was that. It was the picking and the gutting, or the guts. <laughs> um, yeah, no trick pony lock picking. Thank you very much for sending this lock to me. Uh, it took me quite a while to uh, get it picked. And uh, lock picking Pete, thank you very much for watching. No, lock picking Pete, thank you very much for calling out this challenge. And everybody else, thanks for watching. Happy picking and bye bye.